And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. Working on our lines here, and I am thinking we're going to want a food line delivering to our west side areas. A little bit of added growth potential here. Uh, so let's get, let's get this set up. And we're going to want... We're going to want this doubled up, up to here, because we're going to have a couple. Why is this so low? I don't know why that's so slow right there. That should be much, much faster. We're going to delete the road out of here. No! Darn it. One of the hate things I hate about the. No, I did it again. Got lucky that was an empty slot, but wow. No, I want to bulldoze. Construction. No, I'm not trying to construct. I'm trying to bulldoze. What is going on here? Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that... doing so bad? Uh... Oh, I was had the wrong thing. Oh. I had the wrong, wrong track selected. That was a derp and a half. Okay, so this one goes out. Now I need to put that road back. As painful as, as that's going to be. There we go. Okay, so let's continue this on over to here. Let's drag these... what? Construction not possible. Why... why oh why is that? Is that because the buses are there? I really hate that there's buses right there. No, you're not gonna build right there, I'm sorry. Whoa. No, not a, not a rail. We're gonna do this. Okay, so for a little bit, I'm going to pause. Just because. You're going to come out straight out. And go straight back in. There you go. Now I can, now I can continue the road. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to connect up. This little guy over here. And you're going to connect up. To this little guy over here. Okay, so the in-between cities is laid out. So now we need a decent solution for this little problem. Let's let that bus cross, just in case. Nope. Okay, so this track comes out, like, to here. This track comes out to here. Yeah, that, that building was destined to be destroyed. Let's continue the road. Okay, now I need to Bind it into this area over here. We're going to just drag off of this. Hoping that we can bind right into there. And there we go. 
So let's finish that off. So if I wanted to include goods on this too, that's going to be a little tricky because we would have to double up on the lines, but it should work. Double up on the delivery lines, not the source lines. I can I can pull off another another uh, track from from that uh, source. So we're just gonna put one right in the end here, and then one right in the middle. Trying to keep these as separated as I'm comfortable with. There's the second line and we need a you guessed it uh we need a depot whoops so we're going to use this as the depot spin that around okay so let's set up a line these are basically like a green pretty much so from here to here, to here, and that is the food corridor for the West, West food bulk, or food, West food is fine, uh, that's good to go, and I'm going to keep a keep a little eye on my potential and see if you know this works because who knows the luck I've been having with these lines it's kind of hit or miss so buy one of these and we're gonna do box cars we've already got goods up here so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna set uh, uh, the boxcar cargo because I wanted to possibly pick up some more goods deliver some goods for us as well so that means I want one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm gonna try ten at first and two trains uh, and see if this is good enough uh, so we're gonna set to west food okay west food west food and go uh, and double speed that just because I want to see 4900 change to something bigger hopefully somewhere in the six thousands because that would be that would be ideal and who knows what goods will do uh, I'm hoping goods responds in kind. Uh, so we've got the two trains already. And with the game, you know, with so many trains, so many vehicles going, uh, we are a little, uh, you know, lagged in these on these fast speeds. So just be aware that you know, medium speed late in game is not as fast as medium speed early game. Look at that, 6,400 demand now, and we are now loading in food here, and we're not loading in any goods, but that's okay for now. Uh, how are we doing on food here? Wait, we've got, we have got a lot of food for East. A lot of food for East. So now we are loading up food for the West. That's what I like to see. No goods though. As you can see, there are no goods coming in for the West. So I'm thinking, ooh, look at that. Yeah, look at goods over here is really really blossomed I wonder if that's just a fluke or what what is causing that little bump I'm gonna do 
Look at that. These... Ooh, those are about the same, but look at the supply over here. That is nuts. I think medium speed might... I don't know. If it interrupts something, or... If it really causes problems. Still, I'm not using this last... These last couple cargoes. Okay, so now goods have dropped considerably. Uh, how about planks? Why is planks hurting? Oh, it's lag spike. Oh, planks are loading up just fine. Look at all the tools right there. Holy cow. Uh... Oh, yeah, we've got goods now. We've got goods going west, but I don't know if we're actually delivering any goods to the hub anymore, which is kind of a problem. So if goods are going west, that means we're going to need a line for goods to go into our hub right in here. Because that's where all the commercial is, right around this station. Well, not all of it. But got this big building, and you know this big building requires a ton of stuff. So, looks like food production has blossomed a little bit, which is good to see. And we've got our first goods delivery down west now. So if we look at these, uh, we should start seeing goods and food uh, sourced over here. I'm not sure why it's not showing me anything. I know we've had trains deliver before. Uh, are you just not dropping off over here? That would be kind of strange. <clears throat> oh no, there it is. Okay, we just needed the month to switch. Alright, that's good. So we've got a little bit more food and a little bit, a few more goods going in over here. Good to see. Holy, look at the goods. Look at the goods sitting here. Eastish goods. That is, that is an impressive amount of goods, sir. It's like it dumps the year's supply of goods all in one go. I mean, I know it doesn't do that, but it's still climbing. So that means our next train should start delivering goods. So now are we not, I think, yeah, I think our goods supply has jumped from, from hub over to west. Oh, no. Boy, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Good. So now we've got three. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it never delivered goods to the other to east. Because east, I had to, you know, bridge this. This right here is goods going east. And for some reason, it just refused to put goods into east. But here we have three lines now being sent goods. And who knows why? Who knows why that was? Because I'd really like to know. Look at that. We've got the train now fully, fully uh, retooled. We're still just trickling in goods. So here is hub, and we've got some goods here. But east, not so much. A lot of food going to east. And it looks like, yeah, our production has really picked up here in food. Up a, up a couple thousand in production. And likewise, our cows have responded. So how old is this train? Okay. The replacement is on, so these are replacing. Okay, so goods. Ooh, yeah, we're hurting for planks over on goods. And uh, how about logs? Okay, logs are 
Still going strong. Uh, the whole system sort of has to update itself as production picks up. Tools and such are doing still doing pretty good. Still got a surplus in here. Plenty of plastic, no steel. So steel, again, is it's always the, the odd man out here. We've got a 14,000 demand, and we're not even close to that production. But we've got plenty of coal and iron, so I'm not sure what the deal is. We got plenty of plenty of uh, supply in here too, so I'm not sure what is going on with my steel. I don't know. I don't know where the fault is. It's hard to debug a situation like this. Looks like both lines are now like tied in together. Look at that. Iron and coal are now almost in sync. I'm loving the loving the boom on goods. I really wanted to see this production blossom a bit. That 7200 demand is just music. How many trains do I have on planks? That's not a very far way to ways to go. Steel is pretty consistent, but planks are planks are going fast. I'm loving that production though. This is Uber production after all. I like to try to maximize the production when I when and where I can. We've got a massive number. Where's my other train? So this train's loading in. Where's my other one? This train's loading in over here. Okay, so these are pretty well spaced apart. This one loads in there. This one loads in there. So they are they are nicely spaced apart. I like to see the game do that. Uh, and this one now should load, should should have a completely full load when he leaves. Oh yeah, lots and lots of food. I might need a third train on here. Uh, look at that, 400, 100, perfect. And we have a little bit to spare. If these towns grow anymore, I'll probably need to add a third train onto here. If we look, look at that, 5833, growing nicely. Uh, and Hub, your, okay, your goods have suffered just a little bit. So we need to try to balance that out. North is getting only construction material. And you're loading it in over here. So I could technically, if I wanted to, bring construction material up here. But this station just doesn't cover any industry. This one covers a good amount, but not even, probably about 40% of the industry. Because we got this high value stuff over here. So not sure what to do about that. Don't really want to cross over to here. We're well. We're already delivering construction material up to Trust Titan, eighty-eight percent. Anything over eighty percent is is really really good. It's very very hard to uh, get to that magical hundred percent still no construction material for gas nerd i just don't know what to do about that i i hate i hate that we can't do it but i don't know what to do about it uh it's rather daunting look at all the tools it's always easier when you when you start delivering planks it's always easier to maximize on your tools because it's they just produce so fast. We 
you can see how fast plastic goes down only because of machines. So if we look at this, you can see tool production is usually always higher than machines. It's really hard. It's really hard to get more of those going. But our, ooh, look at the potentials went way down. Yeah, I don't know, don't know what to do. Pretty sure that's just a game quirk. Uh, what are we doing here? We got, we got another train coming in for a load. And we're doing pretty good on supply. So that's good. So that's a good line. We got goods and food now going west without any need for a second goods line going, or a third goods line going west. So that's a good savings on that front. And goods have now, look at that, they're gonna upgrade, which is phenomenal. That's the whole point of adding that stuff. So goods is now gonna upgrade, hopefully keep that production high. I wanna make sure we got plenty of steel coming in. Oh yes, and planks good numbers of planks just don't want that production number to fall too far otherwise this this resets this stops upgrading we want that thing to climb and stay high uh, and we got two engines on this I didn't realize for 422,000 horsepower I love it uh, I didn't realize that had two engines on it and only 500 capacity. We got two trains though, so you know our line frequency is good on that front. Trying to keep that production high. All right, well, production is climbing. Our city's population is climbing. Demand is going up. We're at 1,600 on each now. So just time now for the cities to grow. Hopefully they'll grow a little faster than I've reset the settings. So that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.